Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about what's coming your way in love. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate for every Pisces watching, okay? So let's jump right in. For Pisces, Spirit Angels Guides, what's coming their way in love? What can Pisces expect in love? Let's see. Oh. We got Y, number 31. So this is almost, you know, you're questioning why certain things have happened, seeking answers, trying to figure out the purpose or the reason for something. We'll see what else we got. Bottom of the deck is blessed. So this is about um, getting some sort of gift or opportunity from spirit, being patient and kind of just welcoming whatever comes your way. So I think when I look at this, the answer to why is because it was meant to be that way with blessed or don't worry about the why because the outcome will be exactly what you need something like that is what i'm getting here so let's get some oracles out this is from my stellar energy oracle deck what is coming their way in love for Pisces. What can Pisces expect? Pisces expect poetic justice. See, it's like everything that you're receiving or whatever is happening in love for you. I think there's a purpose for it. It's going to come out in your favor. That card also, I'm thinking karma a lot with that card. Looking inward. Reflection, solitude, planning. I feel like this is what some of you are doing trying to figure out if everything's going to work out, if this will end up being something that's good for you. Moving forward is at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you're moving into a new cycle here, Pisces. Maybe something didn't work out or something ended or you're in a transition period. This could also be your person's energy coming through here. But I feel like whatever is taking place right now in the near future, there's a purpose. Spirit, what is coming Pisces way in love? What can Pisces expect in love? Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Wow, a lot of Swords energy here. Um, air energy, I guess I should say, instead of Swords energy. But this is that moving forward energy, the Six of Swords. This is moving past something, moving towards a different environment or future. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Cups. This is typically a card about coming together, celebrating, reunions, meetings, um, but this Seven of Swords is concerning. I'm not gonna, I feel like there's something that you are thinking about. This could also be your person's energy, you know, cause this is what you can expect. But this Eight of Swords is like, someone cannot stop thinking about something is wrapped up in their head, is fearful. That was my dog, Henry, shaking himself in the background. I, don't, I only mention it because people, people um, in the comments are like, What's, what was that weird noise? <laughs> All right, so let's get some clarity here. Let's see what this is about. The Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Together, when I think of these two energies, I think of someone who's scared or anxious about this happening, about deception, someone that is overthinking or thinking too much about someone hiding something or being deceptive. So we'll see if that's the case. So can I get some clarity for Pisces? What's this Eight of Swords about? Why is the Eight of Swords here for Pisces? Okay. Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups. 
walking away towards something more fulfilling, walking towards a happy ending. This could also be walking away from a family situation with the Ten of Cups. Sometimes that can be the case. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Empress and the Five of Pentacles. So some sort of loss here, Six of Pentacles and repairing, rebalancing something that's been lost. I feel like there's something that has already kind of been brewing uh, for you Pisces. I'm speaking to a Pisces that um, either you or the person you're dealing with is afraid of a departure that perhaps was already kind of expected. Can I get one more please for this Eight of Swords? Maybe someone's overthinking a departure. Because the Eight of Cups is walking away and the Six of Swords is also here. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Now the Ten of Cups and the Hierophant, I think of marriage, commitments, family units. So I don't know if, you know, it, it could be interpreted in two ways. Either someone is walking away or in a journey with the Eight of Cups towards their Ten of Cups because the Eight of Cups is seeking the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. That's why the Eight of Cups is about walking away towards something more fulfilling, more abundant. So it makes sense that the Eight of Cups will be looking for this Ten of Cups here. But this could also be interpreted as someone that has walked away from this energy. Let's see, let's look at the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Pisces? What can you tell me about the Seven of Swords? The Emperor, Aries energy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? I don't like the Emperor with the Seven of Swords personally because I don't, yeah, and the Four of Pentacles. I think of an, uh, a masculine energy that is hiding something. And the Four of Pentacles is about holding back, holding on to something. So this could be somebody holding on to a secret or holding back from being honest or open about something. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. And the Emperor is focused on control, balance, making things stable, having everything kind of as it should be. So... The Emperor with the Seven of Swords is like a strategy that someone's using here to keep something to themselves. Can I get one more, please? For the Seven of Swords. No. That does not feel right. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Pisces? Seven of Cups. Okay, illusions, choices, options. And then there's death. Scorpio energy at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this is somebody that is... Um, making choices or evaluating options regarding an ending. And this could be, again, you or the person you're dealing with. I feel like someone, you know, especially the Seven of Cups with the Seven of Swords, um, they're, you know, because the Seven of Swords is about having various options in front of you, but not every option is the best option. And the Seven of Swords tends to be an energy where someone's trying to get away with something um, and their approach is not very ethical. So it can backfire, you know, this approach can backfire. So when I see it with the Seven of Cups, it's almost like someone might be making the wrong choice here, thinking that it's going to be the best choice for them. So I feel like someone is being secretive, deceptive here, holding back. And this might be a mistake. Now, another way to look at this is that someone is presenting themselves to be a certain cup, you know, because the Seven of Cups is about an illusion. Some cups look better than others on the surface. But when you look inside the cup, it's not what you thought. Tell me about this Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Knight of Cups. Why is the Six of Swords here, Spirit? The Sun, okay. Well, this is very different energy here. I want to get one more. Can I get one more, please, for the Six of Swords? 
So there's the Six of Swords here. Oh, I got two. Queen of Swords and Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Swords again at the bottom of the deck. So when I look, ooh, okay, if I could keep my cards <laughs> to myself. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is a card about waiting for an outcome. You know, you're kind of like, you've put in the work, you've put in time and energy into something. And you're just not sure if, if all your hard work is going to pay off. Um, patience also with this card. Queen of Swords, this is air energy again. Uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Um, with Queen of Swords and the Knight of Cups, I'm getting some sort of con uh, conversation or a message, an apology even. But this, you know, I feel like this is different energy. So despite the fact that the Eight of Cups and the Six of Swords are similar energies to me, because they're both about departures. So there's something here about a departure, leaving a situation, walking away. But here, I feel like this departure is like leading to the sun. And this Eight of Cups is leading to a Ten of Cups. So I'm starting to think that this departure is leading to something good. Despite the fact that someone's worried, anxious, Eight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Spirit, why is the sun here? Why is the sun here? I want to clarify the sun because the Queen of Swords with the sun could also be uh, clarity. Tell me about the sun. Justice. Okay, there's justice. Libra energy. More air energy if you needed it. So this is that poetic justice. This is something that is going to work out in your favor, Pisces. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. What's this Knight of Cups about, Spirit? For Pisces. Two of Swords. There's death again. Scorpio energy. Indecision. Two of Swords is undecided, unsure, guarded. Can I get one more for the Knight of Cups, please? Why is the Knight of Cups here? Knight of Cups, again. <laughs> okay. The Lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. Some of you, I feel like you're definitely dealing with an air sign because we keep getting air energy. So the Two of Swords and the Knight of Cups, there's two ways to interpret this. Someone could be undecided about sending a message, opening up, um, expressing themselves, offering an apology. You know, there's indecision, guarded energy there with that. And someone's undecided. But another way to look at this is that you are presented with a Knight of Cups and are undecided about it. You know, I feel like, you know, maybe this is for two groups of Pisces, right? Because everything I've gotten so far, it could go either way. <laughs> um, one group of Pisces, I feel like group one, <laughs> someone could have walked away in the past and you wondered why. Why did they walk away? Why did it end? Why did, did this not go the way that I thought it was going to go? And you didn't really understand the purpose of that. And it could be that that person is now coming forward with this Knight of Cups. Maybe they want to make things right with justice, right? And this makes you very happy. This is leading to a Ten of Cups with you. Very nice energy there. Uh, that's group one. <laughs> group two, I feel like there was an ending that you don't really understand why. And I feel like this ending was because someone hid something from you. They presented something to you that wasn't really what they said it was going to be something like that maybe they even i even got like cheating energy here obviously that's not for everyone i don't want to like freak anybody out but i definitely feel like someone was not loyal to the other person and lied so that led to a departure because one of you decided you, you didn't want to have this relationship anymore and i feel like this energy over here could be that you're moving forward into a new cycle where there's a knight of cups so you see how there's like different ways to interpret this energy. So I'm going to look at some Oracle cards for this situation. Spirit, can I get some insight into what's going on here for Pisces? What's going on here for Pisces? 
What's going on here for Pisces? In love spirit. What's going on here for Pisces? Okay, we have wealthy man. So a masculine energy that is doing very well for themselves. And privileged lady. Okay, great couple. Um, I feel like there's someone that's admiring the other person here. This wealthy man has his eyes, his or hers, because masculine energy can be female or male. But let's not get into that. This masculine energy is very attracted to this feminine energy here. I feel like both of these energies are doing pretty well for themselves. Why am I getting that this, I feel like this masculine energy, maybe they have a really good job, but they have um, very busy. I'm, I'm getting energy here of someone that is very busy with something, like some sort of obligation that they're working on or something like that. Like they, I, I get the sense that they already have something going on. <laughs> While this privileged lady, to me, they're very similar to the nine of pentacles, which tend to be single, stable, very attractive, have a lot going for them. Okay, tell me more about what's going on here for Pisces. What else do we need to know for Pisces spirit? What else do we need to know? Calling in your soulmate and getting to know each other okay so i feel like yeah there's something coming in with trust at the bottom of the deck have, have faith in what's happening um i feel like you're you're getting reassurance that whatever's happening right now pisces it's meant to happen your soulmate you're calling in a soulmate whether this is someone you already know or someone completely new i feel like you're going to get justice regardless of whatever has happened that's really the main message here. Let's look at this person. Oops, sorry, I hit the tripod. Let's look at this person that you have been dealing with or will be dealing with. Let's get some insight on their energy. Yeah. Okay. Spirit, can you tell me about this person? that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with in the near future. What do we need to know about this person coming towards Pisces? What do we need to know about this person coming towards Pisces? What do we need to know about this person coming towards Pisces? What do we need to know about them, Spirit? Four of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Four of Cups. Mm. Okay, um, Four of Swords, Nine of Wands. This is like, I feel, someone that has been through a lot with the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is someone that's literally is like the wounded soldier. They've been to war. They've been through it. They've su they suffered, they've struggled, and they're not really yet willing to give up. You know, they're still kind of hanging in there, wary, um, not very trusting of others. Um, so this is your person, the way that they are feeling right now, or the way that they see you, Pisces. Wheel of Fortune is about unexpected um, blessings, opportunities, things happening in the right time, lucky break. And the Four of Swords is a card about reflection, healing. So when I see all of these together, I'm not getting like the best energy, but I want to clarify before I jump to conclusions, right? <laughs> Spirit, can I get some clarity, please, on these energies for Pisces? Tell me about the Four of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords. The Nine of Swords, okay. So your person is the one that I feel is fearful, anxious. Yeah, Knight of Cups. So they're fearful about this Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. 
or anxious to send this Knight of Cups? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Why is the Knight, not the Knight, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Spirit. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow, the world. Can I get one more for the Wheel of Fortune, please? Can I get one more, please, for the Wheel of Fortune? Wow, the Two of Cups. Beautiful energy. The Hermit is, a, is, is seeking answers. Withdrawn, quiet, planning for the future. Uh, so I feel like this is someone that has been planning or, or thinking of a world, a new, a new cycle. The end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle with their person, their soulmate, Two of Cups. This is your person's energy that we're clarifying here. So I feel like this is your person wanting a new cycle with you. However, it does not have to be someone you already know. This could be anybody at this point that they're just scared to come forward. They're scared to either apologize or make you an offer of love. You're really anxious about that. Tell me about the Nine of Wands, but they're hoping for the, the opportunity to present itself here with the Wheel of Fortune. They're hoping for a good outcome, a positive outcome. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? The Hangman. Hmm. The Hangman. The Four of Swords, the Hermit, very quiet, not a lot of action, and not a lot of communication with either of these energies. So I'm a little concerned here. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. The Chariot, Cancer energy, moving forward. Another energy about moving forward, being on the road to success, on the path to, to success. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Wow, the Wheel of Fortune again. Look at all this major arcana. Beautiful energy. So again, this could be anybody. Let me get some oracles about this person. Maybe we can narrow this down a little bit. Spirit, what do we need to know about this individual that is coming towards Pisces? I feel like this is someone that's going to be making a move specifically at the right time or the time that they feel they'll have the best shot. Maybe they've been thinking, holding on, waiting with the Nine of Wands and the Hangman for this perfect time. What do we need to know about this person coming towards Pisces? What do we need to know about this person coming towards Pisces? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you okay so this is somebody that thinks of you and bottom of the deck I want to tell you how I feel so they have something to say with this knight of cups we've already kind of seen that what else what else do we need to know what else do we need to know spirit What else do we need to know about this person coming towards Pisces? Definitely feel it's a, wow, at night I think of you, the same energy. Whoever this is, I feel is a soulmate. Bottom of the deck, I'm heartbroken. Hmm. And I'm taking action. Wonder why they're sad or disappointed. Again, I feel like Pisces this could be so many different people, depending on who's watching, right? I feel like whoever this is, is, is afraid to come forward, afraid to speak up. Um, let's look at what this Knight of Cups might be. We already clarified the Knight of Cups before, so I feel like the there's a decision tied to this Knight of Cups or some sort of hesitation. Tell me about the Knight of Cups, Spirit. Once again, what do we need to know about this Knight of Cups? What do we need to know about this Knight of Cups for Pisces? There's that Two of Wands, so another decision, and then the Ten of Swords. Okay, Pisces, there's 
two ways you can interpret this. I know it's one of those readings, I'm sorry, but that's just the way that tarot is because I'm reading for a lot of you. Um, the Knight of Cups with the Two of Wands and the Ten of Swords could be that someone is apologizing for a difficult ending. Apologizing for some sort of maybe betrayal. The Ten of Swords is feeling kind of betrayed. And the Two of Wands could be that you have a choice in this matter. You could decide to accept this cup or not. Others of you, I feel like this Ten of Swords could have happened outside of you. Like it didn't really need to happen between you and this person. So it didn't really, doesn't necessarily have to be an ending that happened between you. But maybe either of you have gone through some sort of difficulty and you're looking ahead at what direction you want to go in when it comes to love with the two of wands. Maybe this person had an ending in their life. Something ended in their life and now they want to go down a different path here with the two of wands and are hoping that their cup is accepted. Let's look at the bottom of the deck. Now I'm curious. Oh my God, the tower. Shocking, unexpected. And then the eight of swords. Interesting. So this could be a bit shocking to you that someone's coming to you with this knight of cups. And again, Pisces, take it as it resonates. But I feel like there's so many different ways you can interpret this whole reading um there's definitely something here with a soulmate we have the lovers we have the two of cups and the wheel of fortune has come out twice here so i feel like there you are calling in a soulmate no matter what has happened to you no matter what's going on right now in love i feel like you're calling in a soulmate someone that wants to tell you how they feel someone that wants to make a move towards you and someone that's you know hoping for a new cycle here with the world and I feel like this is like a whole new cycle with a soulmate like a whole new start with a soulmate with the two of cups in the world it's just going to vary on you know depending on who you are and what your situation is it's going to vary on how this happens but that's the, that's the end goal and I feel like a lot of you this is justice this is what was meant to happen and this is going to be fair to you in the end so that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Um, leave a comment if you wanted to share how this resonated for you or if you just want to say hello. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.